Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 20 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. If you've been thinking to yourself, gee this Let's Play has too much gameplay and not enough cutscenes, well, you're going to enjoy this episode. Well, now we have a customer. This is great, right? So this is where Guadalcuna Show, Guadalcuna Company resides. Greetings. What do we do? Well, this guy wants to talk to, we'll call him the manager, but the person who generally deals with the public. So he asks this cute receptionist to call him out. Check it out, he thinks I'm cute. Anyway, yeah, I thought I was here now. Well, Avaro is kind of the director, and in additional, the cute receptionist here does it as well. That's right. This cute girl is a goddess. Please worship her. Okay, he's down with that. This gets Avaro a bit nervous when she just tells random strangers that she's a god. Alright, this is Vatraf Gaidal. He has his own company. The Gaidal Company. Yeah, yeah, just like us. Hey, could you do something about your face? It looks... evil. Anyway, he's saying, since we're both running companies, we're kind of comrades in... comrades in this world. He's thinking that we're going to be acquaintances for a good long, so we should get along. Uh, yeah, that's great. Now this would proceed normally, but... Oh, I wonder if these two know each other. <laughs> well, she asks him what he's doing here, and that's a hell of a greeting. Even though it's been so long. <laughs> she tells him to get lost, and if he tries to do anything to Mikeyu again, he'll she'll kill him. Well, we jumped right into it. Yeah, all right now comes up. This is his former employer. Her former employer. Can't believe I keep doing that. Okay, that means he additionally kidnapped me, Kayu. Well, to think that he would just ride up and come and introduce himself. He's got some nerve. If he plans on getting at Eo for quitting the organization, he, he better know that we're going to resist. <laughs> and he says he doesn't want us jumping to conclusions here. That's a 
きっと戦闘は止まっていただろう。That whole battle, it, it turns out, was just a very unfortunate misunderstanding. From the beginning, he had no ill will towards us, and if he had been there, he would have put a stop to the battle immediately. I thought I was a bit suspicious. 信じてもらうためにこうして赴いた。But he's here to try and get us to believe him. 私は組織の規則に従ったんだ。責任者である私が率先して規則を破るわけにはいかない。同じ紹介を率いる代表者の君には分かってほしいものだが、どうかな He says he's obeying the rules of his company. And as the responsible party, he needed to come up here and do the apologies and things. Although he didn't do a straight up apology, he just said that he would have stopped it. Hmm. That may or may not matter later. Yeah. A company that takes people's lives as part of its daily practices, we don't want to hear about the. Rules of the company here. Yeah, and furthermore, getting uninvolved people involved in that kind of cra crap is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, he says it was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> okay. Well, even if he says he would stop it, his underlings did it, so he can't exactly undo that. Eel's basically taking everything as a lie and just saying that he should stop sending assassins. He promises that he didn't intend for that. Situation to go down like that. So, Kimmy, I'm all to you that eat the Janica. A Tarashi, Ibaso, the Tanoshiku, Smoser, Koto, Negat, the Iryo. Oh, look at this. He did tell you that she was free, and he hopes, wishes, that in this new place he found he could, she could, uh, enjoy herself peacefully. Totemo Nakayoshi, Mika, you can to Isho. <laughs> Together with Mikeo, who she likes so much. So. Somehow he's trying to make friends here and he still comes off as ridiculously evil. Alright, is that all? If you're done, leave. <laughs> And he repeats himself that he doesn't want us jumping to conclusions. That isn't the main topic he wanted to discuss. It's something more important. How about we join him? Join hands in whatever endeavor he's talking about. Get bent, we have no intention of doing it. That was a harsh blowout. He's so sad. How about we give him a reason? But instead of actually giving him the reason, we're blowing him off. Afar asks him what he means by this. By joining hands with him. 実は私も信教の山路に興味があってね。He too has interest in the God's haze. もし入り込む方法があるのだとしたら行ってみたい。そして同じ目的があるのなら協力できる。そうだろう。If there were a way to get into it, he would like to. And since they have the same goal, they may as well cooperate, right? Avaro doesn't buy his explanation. There's something he's left out. You see, Avaro's already figured out 
that he's got an interest in taking the castle from us. Yeah, as proof, there was the mechanic who stole the part from it during the investigation way back at the beginning. And furthermore, they kidnapped Mikeu in order to get us separated from the castle. And Gaidel actually admits that. Hmm. Perhaps he's saying that he did mean to kidnap Mikeu, but he didn't mean for it to get into a fight and everything. Or perhaps he's just trying to confirm the former part, that he hired the mechanic to steal the part. Anyway, what he confirmed is a bit ambiguous, but he says he's not interested in taking the castle, at least not to the point that he wants to fight us for it. Okay, why does he want to go to the God's Haze? And review, just in case you forgot. That's the Fuchsia Church's holy ground. And furthermore, going there would turn the whole country against you. And that's exactly why. Because they're trying so hard to keep people out, there must be something valuable in there. <laughs> He thinks that we can just smell the delicious value and rarity or something. You're thinking in the God's Haze, the Fuchsia Church's treasures will be found, huh? Basically, he doesn't confirm its treasures, but it's something that you can't get anywhere else. And there he is making the offer again. And here we are rejecting him again. Yeah, first of all, we don't trust him. And furthermore, the methods you choose are less than wholesome, let's say. Alright. It's unfortunate, but he's gonna give up. But he hasn't given up on winning us over. If we have trouble on our path to the God's haze, then any time we can call him up. As they continue to stand out, and the more they do so, their enemies will, our enemies will increase. And I've already even said so, the influence kingdom are preparing soldiers to move against us. そしてこのまま進んでいけば、世界の番人たるマーズテリアだって黙ってはいないだろう。さまざまな勢力がこれを狙って戦力を向けてくる。And if we continue on the way we're going, the world's guardian, Maz Teria, will not stay quiet. There are various forces that will target us and send their militaries against us. Now before I move on too quick, Maz Teria, the world's guardian here, is the god for whom Rek Shumi. Shumi Anna. Shumi Anna, the angel we met a couple episodes back. She is a servant of Maz Teria. Oh yeah. And among the people who might send their forces against us, like you, 
だが心の片隅にでも覚えていてほしいね困難を前にした時味方が必要になったらそれはすぐそばにいるということで<笑> Yeah that's harsh Well it's true Anyway He wants us to remember it. If we're overcome with our difficulties, then he will be by our side. I am very concerned. I don't know if I can do it. 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 He's very worried about us. He hopes that our half blooded company director and our castle. Castle directing goddess, don't get hurt. Please take care. Dewa, Shitre, Sreo. Otagai Shokai, you mori tatete eco. And now he will excuse himself. And he hopes that both of our companies do well. Ugh. Yo, where's your knife? I think you should have stabbed him with it. You know, Fia, it was nice of you to stay out of that conversation, mostly with the blank expression on your face. But she is thinking he didn't seem like such a bad guy. I mean, all the way to the end, he wanted. He said he was worried about us. Look, you dumbass. He was saying those things and being nice in order to get us what he wants out of us. As a merchant, so to speak, getting your customers to to buy what you're selling, as it were, is a bit of a sport. Of course, he'd be able to try and trick people into that. Here we go. He also says, Gaidal's a villain. Goddess, you mustn't trust him. Alright, I'll buy Eel. No matter how many. Even if she only gets like three lines, I'll buy all of her lines before I'll buy any of Gaidal's. Uh, da -da -da. So. That's how it's going to end, but there is something bothering Avaro. None of us had actually told him that we were going for the God's Haze. He somehow knew that on his own. And furthermore, he's thinking that... He may be... Gaidal may be headed for the God's Haze and therefore be targeted by the Kingdom anyway. In fact, already. But that's just speculation. <laughs> Alright, that was one cutscene. Oh, we're not done. So, the goddess that was pulled out. So I presume this means... He understands how she was pulled out of stasis, but he's surprised that she re re retained any of her consciousness. <laughs> this is an unexpected development. As expected, it's best that he... As expected, coming here to... Confirm it himself was quite the surprise. How can he expect to know? Alright, so now he's thinking about how he's going to scheme things into his plans. その性質が善か悪か人から懇願された時にどういった反応を示すのか私が直々に試してやろう I'll admit I don't fully understand his plan here 
But he's going to try and see if he, the reactions of his next steps will be good or will be bad. Sate, doko made yareru ka mimono da na. And yeah, he's excited to see how things will turn out next. So that's one cutscene. God, don't you hate going out in public and always hearing these screaming children? So, sounds like a girl who's looking for a mother. Well, look who's found the girl and agreed to find her mother. It's Kisnir. Abaro? Yeah. So, yeah, that's the size of it. Avaro says, Kisner, what are you doing here? Oh, Kisner says, No, oh, I found this child. Couldn't just leave her. Hmm. Yeah, Kisner's nice like that. And Avaro's going to help out too, because he's nice like that too. Alright, she wants to know if Avaro can find her mother. And yeah, he says he can. People notice him a lot, so she'd probably come right up to him. <laughs> Alright, he's acting a little goofy to make the little girl a little more at ease. And Kisnir laughs at him doing it. So. We find the mother without any trouble. So that was a little bit of trouble. But it all turned out. She was thanking him for helping, but he says it's nothing. Anyway, she was the one who decided to help herself. So, this is her day off. So she decided to come down to the village and see, and see how things were around here. She didn't really have any purpose besides that. If I was saying, is it alright that you don't try and capture me? You could take the castle more easily that way. <laughs> She'll hold off. This is her personal time and she doesn't want to mix her work into it. Well, that's convenient for us. Even when she's not working, she's very much like herself. <laughs> well, what's that mean? It's the way that she cares about people, so naturally. I've always respects her for that. Well, she thanks him for the compliment and... Furthermore, it's noted that the castle is getting a pretty good reputation. If she tried to capture the two of them right now, the people would actually be troubled by it. Oh, looks like she's been researching into Fia. Well, 
to see whether Fia is really a god or not. Yeah, how interesting. So, has she figured it out? Yeah, starting out, she asks Avaro if he is from Influs Kingdom. But no, he's a wandering engineer. Oh, incoming! Background incoming! Alright, we'll start with a bit of history of the kingdom. The Fuchsia Church is the the national church of the country, and the people largely believe in the Fuchsia faith. Fuchsia is a hero. In an earlier era, the Fastina era, he was a servant of the regional god who protected the who ruled these lands. One of the seven pillars of the green forest, a god by the name of Pariah. Before the founding of the Influus Kingdom, the powers within this region broke into two parts and had a war. These would be the people who followed Pariah and the people who did not. So, on the two sides were the followers of the present gods and the evil tribe which wanted to resurrect the old gods. And they managed the evil tribe managed to trick Pariah and capture him and from there take advantage of the situation to well bring ruin and stuff. So at the time Fiusha as a mortal follower Pariah was a commander of the loyalist armies. He fought against the evil tribe and rescued Pariah and then he was deified as the regional protector of these lands. Sometime after that, Pariah returned to heaven and entrusted the land to Fiusha and his tribe, his tribe of protectors. That tribe of protectors are now the Ruth royal family of the kingdom. So yeah, basically, this was about the time that the kingdom was founded, after Pariah left and Fuchsia was the regional god. The Fuchsia church forbids entry into the northern part of the kingdom called the God's Haze. The place Fia's aiming for. So, 
かの聖地への侵入は困難を極める。Yep, that's exactly where Fia's headed. And the problem is why she wants to get there. But even if she did have a good reason, it would be really difficult to actually get in. You see, it was not the church that decided to ban entry, but the god Fuchsia himself. Yeah, that makes it that harsher, huh? Well, Avaro understands, but they still have to go there. Even though she has no memory of before, and she doesn't even remember the reason she needs to go there. Well, we could try to grill her for it, but if she doesn't remember, she doesn't remember. There was something Kisnir noticed that she found really interesting. The last time Fuchsia has shown his figure was actually before the founding of the kingdom. Since then, he has not been sighted even once. Which is to say, he was only sighted before the founding of the kingdom. Or, he was only confirmed to have shown himself. Right. So... Wait a minute. She has been locked in that castle for a good long time as well. And without her memories or knowledge of what the effects were. And we don't even know if we resurrect, we reawakened her in a proper fashion or, or anything. Well, Avaro <laughs> just did some speculating in the head, his head, uh, but Kisnir's gonna say it out loud here. Well, first, Fia and Fiusia. Don't you think the names resemble them each other quite a lot? Rather, too much, even. Yep, we're getting excited about this speculation. Well, Avaro is, anyway. Actually, Avaro says that he's thought of this as well. What if Fia's real identity was this ancient hero, Fiusia? Yeah, Kisner thought that. Specifically, used to think that. But, if she used to think it, then... That's right, she... speculated this as well. That perhaps Fiusia was in fact the few that Fia was in fact Fiusia and was sleeping until just a few days back. But that's impossible. Fiusia was recorded publicly as being a male. There's no way he could be the same person as Fia. I think I've got a new rule. Fia never gets to take off her pants. Ever. Period. Then we can pretend this is all good. Hmm, <laughs> Avaro's going to speculate here that perhaps, as from time to time happens, people 
change history to something that they find more convenient. Perhaps since the disappearance of the god, the church has changed the records, the name of the god as well as the gender. Kisner disagrees. The gods are rulers, and people don't get to manipulate information just like that. It's unforgivable. And furthermore, what is the reason for doing it? It's true we don't have much of a reason we can think of. But it would be nice if Fia wasn't hated by everybody. So, Kishner's hope in doing this part of the research was to confirm Fia as the as truly being Fiusia, and thereafter people wouldn't be opposing her, as if the orders were coming directly from Fiusia. She really had hopes for this line of research because if that had turned out to be true, they wouldn't have to go to war with each other or turn to battle with each other. You mean you researched all that for us? She says he's got it wrong there. She didn't do it for Avaro and Fia, but for herself. Since she has no enmity towards them, she wanted to avoid the battle if at all possible. Yeah, just try and pretend you're a nice person. Alright then, have it your way. What the hell's up with that cow face, she says. Did you think that she would start to care about people who are her enemy? She's a warrior after all. You do care about us. Uh, but whatever. Like we said, have it your way. Alright, asking again, Havaro, do you really believe Fia is a god? Yes. Now, even though she doesn't have any proof of it, why does he believe? Mm, true. He doesn't have proof, but Fia says so, so he, she, so he believes her. Well, she'll let him have it his way as well, until it comes time for her to fulfill her orders. And the next time we're face to face, it'll be a battle. Yeah, I hope we both get it through it okay. But rest at ease. Kissner says that she won't harm us any more than she needs to. And gives Fia her best regards. And asks that if they want to surrender, they do it quickly. So, see you later. Man, she is a good girl. Oh, man, I totally forgot. I need to ask her to join my party.
Yeah, Jason is pretty confident that she's going to win the next battle. Which is odd because she didn't want to fight the last one so badly, she practically threw it. Alright, that was cutscene 2, now cutscene 3. Alright everybody, listen up. Time to talk about our future plans. All right, we're talking about... These three are all observing how serious Avaro is about this. So let's hear what serious Avaro has to say. Jeez, you guys are just putting too much pressure on him. Anyway. Avaro wants to start some defensive emplacements around the castle. Yeah, these are defensive emplacements, which will be there to fend off enemy attacks. Exactly. This is one of the ways we can say buff our defenses for when the attacks start coming. Up until now, they'd mostly spent all of our time taking jobs from people. So now they need to prepare in a different fashion. Well, I guess it's true that not everybody will be friends. So, pretty soon, especially as is evidenced by Kisner's tone, there's going to be a big pra battle going down. Avaro suspects it will be around the time they're passing the town called Rickbell. Well, since we have the castle, we'd better start preparing around it. Fia says she gets it, which is to say she has a very passing understanding of a few of the things Zavaro was talking about. Am I too harsh on Fia? Ah, uh, anyway. So now they get to craft some things that they will be able to use as defensive emplacements. Alright, here's a plan, here's a plan, and here's a plan. So that was three cutscenes. Do you need three more cutscenes? I think you do. Alright, Io recognizes what this is. This is the mechanical defensive door. Alright, so, while she was working, she saw things that were like this, but they were more simple than this one. Mikio comes in at the wrong time and asks Io what this work is and what she's talking about. And what's up with the door? And now Avaro's got to try and pretend that we're talking about something else because he promised Io that he wouldn't let Mikio know what Io did before and blah blah blah. Let's just take a few lines and say that try and cover up what Io was that Io is an assassin. So about the door. If we place it, then tech then the enemies won't be able to pass by the emplacement. 
Well, that's just awesome. That means if we place them, we'll be safe. Except until the enemies break the doors. But they'll be valuable in slowing them down. So the mechanical defense doors are something we can place on certain on certain defensive maps before starting the battles. This time is the steel ball trap emplacement. So if we place these steel ball traps properly, the enemies will fall into them and take damage. A lacking point is that if our enemies step on them, they'll take damage as well. But we will know where they'll be, they are placed and the enemies might, and the enemies don't. So as long as we don't step on them, we'll be fine. Like Fia might randomly do because she's a spaz. That's basically what Avara saw, thought there. I didn't actually make that up because I dislike Fia. Although that, I would, uh, I would make that up if I could. All right, we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, well, they will be okay. Avaro does all the combat management anyway. So this is another emplacement we can place. All right, Fia gets the comment on this one. She says it's a little fortress. That's right, this is a Earthshot Firing Fortress. It's a bit like a miniature of our castle here. Yeah, she likes it, it's cute. So if we place this in the defensive maps, they'll be able to shoot at enemies and damage them. Until they get damaged, until they're broken by the enemies themselves. So basically, we need to set them well so they don't get broken. Basically, yeah. Alright, that was three more cutscenes. Are you tired of cutscenes yet? Well, too bad. So they're out on a sunny day and enjoying the sunlight and all. Alright, did we bring the lunches? Yeah, Hio brought it. She tried she did her best in making them too. Mikeo says that Eo is good at cooking. That's nice. Alright, so these three are all enjoying themselves, but he is observing that Arbaro is not really getting into it yet. Yeah, he's not getting into it. It's nice of us to go out on this picnic and then everything, but we come out and have picnics outdoors all the time when we're gathering stuff and when we're sprucing up the capital and things. And I've always thinking about how we can get this done with and head back to the castle and do more jobs. All right, let's talk about how Fia is making an un happy face. Okay. And geez, Papa is just so focused on his work. From time to time he should relax and spend time with the family. Who the hell's Papa? 
ちゃんとした目的あるお出かけなんだから頭空っぽにしないとダメなんだよ And anyway, they come out here with a particular purpose in mind. So he needs to empty out his head. So we have a purpose, but we also empty our heads, huh? <laughs> yeah, she's saying that up to now they've mostly gathered materials or handled all the. Plants and statues and wells that need fixing. Yeah, all of that helps Fia gather power and move us forward. Yeah, I mean, she is the one that most wants to go to the God's Haze. Okay, she agrees. We do need to do our best to reach our goals, but we also need to take time to play and relax. If you just work all the time, you'll get tired out. So, from time to time, you need to take the time to refresh your feelings and your body. Alright, so, she says that Avaro needs to take today to rest. Alright, so there's a river over that way. He was the one who found it. By the sound of it. Afia wants to go down to the river. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's a river, it's a river. Whoops. Well, what did you think was going to happen running around like an idiot? <laughs> man, oh man, she slipped. Ha 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 ha. Alright, but she says it feels pretty good. She invites Avaro in. He'll hold off. <laughs> he doesn't want to get his clothes wet. <laughs> Mikael is inviting Eo for a swim. And she's got an interesting reaction. I don't know. You're going in the water? <laughs> So, apparently Io has always been bad with water. And Mikio says that she should learn to swim, so at least, at least so much that she doesn't drown. <laughs> so she picks a spot and invites Io to go swimming with her. No way, water's the enemy. <laughs> Mikeu insists. She's going to train her in swimming. And now Io says that if she enters the water, she'll die. Ah, okay. Io ran off and Mi Mikeu is going to chase her down. Hmm. To think that Io can't swim. I don't think Mikeu is going to catch up with a former assassin. Good luck, Mikeu. Chop, chop. Oh, 
先だけでも川につけると気持ちいいと思うよ。All right, Fia's going to go back to trying to get Avaro into the water. She invites him to at least stick his toes in. Says it'll feel good. Avaro says no. And anyway, he spotted some stuff that would make good material, so he was thinking about going and gathering them. Yep, she's observed he's trying to get to work again. She has an idea though. Yeah, she's going to splash him, thinking this will get him in. Alright, now the invitation is to get over here and splash around at each other like lovers. Avar observes that Fia's got some pretty predictable turns of phrase. Now he takes a few screens to observe her body. Come on, it's not going to kill you to come over and play a bit. Until she realizes he's become bashful at looking at her body. Hmm. Avaro kind of glides out of that, but she then she realizes that she's been he's been staring at his butt. Ha! Ah. Well, that's nice and all. So now that she's realized that she was he was staring at her assets, she's going to get serious. by calling him a pervert. Yeah, sure. Come on, you're always wandering around in those light clothes. Seriously though, she wears almost nothing. Heh. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> well, in any case, it's got an Avaro in a playful mood, so he is actually going to join her. Sad. So, she says she's going to get Avar all wet and stare at his abs. So what do you think you're going to get by that? But hell, the two of them relax and play in the water for a while. So, now that they're done playing, they get to dry off by, I guess, sunbathing. So they lay on the ground and sit back for a while. Now Avar will admit that it's nice to, important to, occasionally rest. And he thanks her for inviting her out on this. Alright, Fia has spotted an interesting looking mountain in the distance. I bet it's that one. Yeah, I've already seen it too. Eel says that that is a dangerous mountain. Oh, Eel. So you managed to lose Nikeu. So what's up with the mountain? Yeah, 
知らずかいる重責のためでは有名な裏金壮ちゃん There are always violent winds, winds blowing around it. But there are ores that people have tried to mine and found ruins there with, thereabout. So, from time to time, there are people. The term is not knowing your life's worth. So, basically, most people who go there are risking their lives for not much. Anyway. The name of the place is Uragaru Twin Pli, Twin Mountains. So, ores and ruins, huh? Sounds like a good place for us to go. Oh, that doesn't look like the mountain at all. <laughs> Fia says, even if the mountain's dangerous, they've got the Goddess of Fortune on their side, so they'll be all right. Unconvincing as usual. But let's take care when we go. So they spent the rest of the day sunning themselves. I'm not going to do this yet because I'm basically out of time. But I want to observe these missions. If there are rewards for each of these completion parts, I'm betting it's going to be pretty hard. Haven't seen it yet. But in order to do, do this sort of thing, it gives challenges to the missions if it's... It's kind of implying that by being different missions, each one has its own little challenge to it. But anyway. We aren't even done with all of our cutscenes. And that was what? Seven of them? But I've been on for about an hour, so. I'm going to sign out. And I will see you next time, YouTube.